What is up guys, you got Not The Worst here, bringing another Black Desert online video, and today we're coming with some highly anticipated uh, news that we were waiting on coming on. We have the Draconia Awakening trailer now available, we got some gameplay and stuff uh, seen with it, and we've got us a GM note uh, to go along with this that we're going to go over in just a minute here. Uh, the release date is now announced as July 27th, so not quite this coming uh, Wednesday, but the week following that, so you got a little over a week to wait for the release on this. Uh, no word just yet on uh, season release, at least as of this minute for it. Um, we got these updates from the voice of adventure in the uh, KR community, so uh, this got dropped then. We were kind of expecting to see something about it announced if it didn't come last patch, then it, it was no surprise that there was a voice of adventure coming up uh, on the weekend to see it, so definitely glad we finally got something here. You can see she's got an insane dash <laughs> that just kind of goes around. If you want to check out the full trailer yourself, I got it linked in the description below, so you can check that out. Uh, definitely worth a watch. Very, very shiny, and you can just like literally dash an entire football field across, uh, which is insane so super excited to try this out let's go ahead and check out the gm note and see uh kind of what they're talking about design wise uh, i'll link this also in the description too if you want to get the the link to the actual truck uh the actual gm note it's got the uh trailer in the in the gm note itself as well so we have ashen wings that can incinerate fear itself destruction takes flight igniting the frozen sky so we have kind of this uh one winged angel looking type setup here um little lore business there we're gonna skip on right past uh, so the Draconia Awakening is called the Trion, meaning spear in the tongue of dragons. Trion is Draconia's exclusive weapon, and it takes the form of two spears. At first glance, it looks like a normal weapon, but it transforms into a completely different state when wielded by Draconia. Thanks to Erethea's power, Draconia can uniquely switch between Hexblood and Dragonblood states. Her Hexblood state can be seen as her human form, in which she expertly wields both Trion spears to stab and slash her enemies, while in her Dragonblood state, her combat style is based on a dragon form, and in this state, the Trion in her left hand takes the shape of a dragon's horn, allowing her to crush enemies or brace herself with its heft. You can say that Draconia, you can say that only Draconia can wield the Trion. Why would you say, like, you can only say, just say, like, only Draconia can wield the Trion. You don't have to, like, say that. Anyways. Our combat direction for Awakening Draconia was developed around her wielding two spears. We chose this type of weapon as we felt it would be best match for her concept and story, giving adventurers a feel, uh, feeling of wielding a dragon's might. Her combat style is largely divided into two styles, Hexblood and Dragonblood. She can switch back and forth between both, and her combat style will differ depending on her state. In her Hexblood state, she wields two smaller spears to unleash a barrage of quick and agile attacks. When Draconia was released, we saw some feedback that while her concept was good, her slower speed was disappointing. That's why we wanted to provide a more agile combat style with her awakening in sharp contrast with her succession. No, no surprise there. On the other hand, her Dragonblood state emphasizes her Draconic nature in the form of destructive power, unlike the speed of her Hexblood state. In this form, Draconia's left-hand spear is transformed into a dragon's massive horn, and her dragon aspect can be seen in her skills. From what that sounds like, we're going to have a little mix of uh, quick movement things and also... Some things possibly similar uh, to what we see in Succession, the slower, slower moving, high damage type in the uh, in the uh, uh, Dragon Blood form. Differing from our existing classes, we started developing Awakening Draconia after the release of her Succession, as this was a new direction for us, and with so many people eagerly waiting for its release, we're thrilled to be able to present you with this announcement. We hope you enjoy it, and thank you. Also, to note, just if if you don't recall when they uh, did release Draconia, they said moving forward after this this class that uh, characters would be released with Succession. And awakening together we'll see if that remains uh the case and just interesting they didn't actually um mention that in, in this particular note so i wonder if that'll end up getting backpedaled overall i just say that because if you move to a system of two class releases you can still kind of squeeze it by doing two class releases but with two specs each available let's take a look at some of the skills that we have draconia's awakening primary skills so here we've got uh, a hex blood skill right because you've got her two spears there aerial burst uh, I mean, cool colors looks nice. Is that a that could possibly be a vacuum as well? Actually, it kind of looks like it might be. Where she pulls in there, interesting. Uh, we've got Doombringer here. Um, kind of similar to her shift L and B in Succession, as is now. Uh, Tectonic Slam. This is the Hexblood version. Nice little uh, charging dash forward, pretty quick here. And then the Dragon Blood forward uh, uh, version of it is not quite as much movement, and then you can see a much wider AOE there. A bit slower, too, which obviously fits the theme for that. Uh, Sundering Roar, the Hexblood version here. Uh, possibly maybe a float there or some type of CC, I would guess, on that setup. And then the Sundering Roar Dragonblood version is absurdly cool. And absurdly is definitely just the right form. We'd have a giant dragon head pop out the end of your Trion thing and just fucking spray blue dragon flame that's really really cool draconia awakening will be released on wednesday july 27th we will do our best to present you with something 
Amazing. Thank you for your patience. This particular sentence, just to throw this out here, it makes me think there's a chance we actually don't see another season. I think it would be a bit remiss um, in general for them to not release another season just because it's good for their business. It's great for new players. It brings uh, players in. It get, gets some other players that dwindled off back into it. Um, but something like that and then not seeing a release. And they, they could still announce something later on after uh, I record this video about season. That's definitely possible. So far, nothing, though. Um, and the fact that we're seeing them noting that, not talking about the season, makes me think maybe they're going to develop something else to go with it, um, especially because they didn't say anything about, hey, the season ending and then the season beginning, or maybe we do just see another season restart with Draconi Awakening release on 727. Just seems a little awkward because for people that played Succession Draconi already, do you really want to start another season character? Um, you'd probably play something else, you know, and go from there. If you've already got a Draconi, do you want to level a second one? Might be a little bit awkward. Maybe they figure out a way to work around them. So, anyways, there you have it for the latest on the Draconi news. Let me know what you guys are thinking about it in the comments down below. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you get notifications when new videos do go live. And if you'd like to catch me playing live, there's a link to my Twitch page in the description down below. You can jump on over there, drop a follow, so you get notifications for that as well. With that said, that's going to be it for this one. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I will see you next time. Hey.